Yo guys, what is going on? So today I'm going to make a video about how you guys can boost your FPS and this video is going to be a bit longer because I do want to explain some of the more obvious things but also some of the more in-depth things that you guys may or may not have seen before to hopefully help you guys boost your FPS as much as you guys can on any computer you're playing on for CSGO. There will be timestamps aimed at more general things in this video so if you guys do want to see those they'll be in the description below and I believe there is an update now for most people where you can just hover over the play bar and YouTube will just show you those timestamps specifically. So uh, yeah, go ahead and click on what you want to see now real fast i do just want to say only about 2.5 percent of you guys who watch my videos are actually subscribed and as you guys can see the not subscribed portion of people who watch my videos is really really big so if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you guys smash that subscribe button i don't normally ask for subs at the beginning of videos but i figured i mentioned this and to show you guys this it's pretty crazy how many of you guys are watching my videos right now but i do want to say if you guys are enjoying these videos and if you do want to see more then make sure you guys smash that subscribe button it would really really help me out but without further ado let's get into the video Video. Now, there are some very obvious things you guys can do to boost your FPS. I've said them before. I'm going to say them again. I'm sure many other YouTubers have also said them themselves. And if you guys have seen videos about things like turning down your settings, updating your drivers, and so on, you guys can go ahead and skip to the later part of this video. Again, the timestamp for that will be down below. But for those of you who have not done this before, I highly recommend you watch both sections, starting off with this one. So, some of the most basic things you guys can do to start off boosting your FPS would be to go into CSGO, come over to the settings icon, and come up here and click video. Here you can see all of your video settings there's not too many of them but what you want to mainly look at is your advanced video setting now as you guys can see all of mine are very high right now i'm running a pretty high-end pc so i can comfortably play and record at all these high settings but if you're on a more budget laptop budget pc or maybe just another type of laptop that's not truly meant for gaming then i would highly recommend turning a lot of your settings down from high or whatever it's automatically set to, to low or very low. A lot of these options go to either very low or just low or just straight up disabled or enabled. All of these can be turned down pretty low. You don't have to worry about one being too low, but you do need to keep in mind that as you do start to turn down your settings, some of the players and some of the map textures will get very, very low quality looking. It won't completely ruin the experience of the game, but it will lower the quality a decent amount. If you guys are curious to see how much it will lower your quality, I did make an experimental video comparing high settings and low settings in CSGO. I'll have that up in a card in the top right hand corner or down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But other than that, make sure you set your settings all down to either medium, low, or disabled for some of the ones that offer it, and that should help boost your settings a lot right there. The next thing I would do, if you haven't heard it already, is make sure all of your drivers are updated, especially your video card driver if you have it. Personally, I have a NVIDIA GPU, so what I can do is, provided you have this program installed, I can come down here to my search bar and type in GeForce Experience. You just have to type in GEF and this program should pop up. If you guys don't have this and you are an NVIDIA user, I'll have a link down in the description below where you can download this program. What this is going to do is it basically allows you to update your graphics card driver, but it does allow you to do some other cool things, so I highly recommend recommend downloading this. Anyway, if this does show up for you or once you download it, go ahead and click on it and the program's going to open up. What you want to do from here is go to your drivers section and see if there are any drivers available for your GPU. They should show up right here. As you guys can see, I actually have a driver available myself. I'm not going to go ahead and install it right now because I am in the middle of recording a video. But if this does show for you guys, make sure you click express installation. It's going to be the easiest way to install your driver and it's going to be super helpful because it'll help your GPU run better and faster and push better graphics. If nothing shows up, you can always check for updates up here. Super, super simple, super easy with this program. Now, if you are an AMD user, I'm assuming you guys will also have a program like this to update your drivers. If you're an AMD user watching this and you know how to update your drivers, please comment it down in the comments below, considering I'm not sure how exactly you guys would do this. But I'm assuming, like I said, you guys have a program similar to GeForce Experience, where you can go and update your drivers from in there. And uh, yeah. So now we're going to start to get into more of the advanced things you can do to help boost your frame rates in CSGO. And, and this will also work for other games too, keep in mind, but we're going to focus on CSGO for now. These next few things are going to help you really boost your FPS, but there are a lot more detail to make sure you guys watch this entire thing, not to miss any steps. Some of this stuff will get kind of complicated, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it step by step. Now, the first thing we're going to look out here is only for NVIDIA users. I know there are ways to do this for AMD users. Again, if you are an AMD user and you know how to do these next steps, I'm going to show you. Please comment down in the comments below for those other AMD users. But if you are an NVIDIA user, what you guys can do is if you guys right click on your home screen, you're going to see your NVIDIA control panel pop up. Click this. Now, this is going to open up your control panel for your graphics card pretty much. Unlike GeForce Experience, this is where you can adjust settings specifically for your graphics card to push on your computer. What we want to focus on here is come over to the Manage 3D Settings tab and double click this. This is going to show you 
individual settings for your entire computer, not just CSGO, but for your entire computer. So what this is mainly gonna do is it's gonna force your graphics card to always push certain settings that will help boost your FPS in any application you're in. Now, what you guys are gonna wanna do from here is you're gonna wanna find the anti-aliasing settings, which you guys can see for me are right here. Now, you wanna focus mainly on anti-aliasing FXAA. Turn this off completely. As you guys can see, mine is already off. If you select it, you can turn it on or off. GeForce already recommends this to be off. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's off for my computer. Go ahead and copy my settings that I have currently. I've already gone through all of these settings to make sure they're the best for most computers. As you guys can see, a lot of the settings are already set to application controlled. This is a very smart setting to set it to because then you can go to CSGO and actually set your settings in game, which will then have more of an effect on the graphics card. If you guys didn't know already, setting the settings in game might actually not even do anything if you have your graphics card settings forcing certain texturing and filtering settings already on here again copy what you see on my screen here i'll scroll down so you guys can see the rest of it also and go ahead and just pause the video so you guys can copy what i have here these are going to be some of the best settings to use a lot of these are actually just going to be left alone as you guys can notice but if you don't have yours looking like like i have mine right here i would highly recommend switching some of this now there are some things that you will have to figure out for your computer specifically for me as i said already my computer is a pretty high performance computer so what i can do for things like power management mode i can come down and click on them and set it to prefer maximum performance this is going to help push as much performance out of my gpu as possible if though you are on a laptop and you keep it plugged in the majority of the time you're playing on it i would recommend setting this to prefer maximum performance this is going to help push as much power out of your gpu as you can again I highly recommend having it plugged in, otherwise your battery is literally going to die in like 15-20 minutes. Again, you guys can always play around with some of these if you guys would like, depending on the specs in your computer. Again, remember, lower is always going to give you more performance, and higher settings are always going to give you less frame rate, but higher quality gameplay. These settings do control your entire computer, not just CSGO or any game you play, so also do keep that in mind. This is going to affect your entire computer and not just CSGO. But anyway, once you're done copying my settings and switching those specific ones, go ahead and come down here and click apply and then you're all done. Now the next thing I want to show you guys is launch commands in CSGO. Launch commands will always help you increase your performance in game. I've talked about them before in some other videos, but here's basically a small list of some things that will really help with your game. Basically all you need to do is take some of these and just copy and paste them into your startup box for CSGO, which I will show you guys where that is in a minute. As you guys can see here, commands like high are very very important considering it will force the game to be high priority, meaning that your computer will have to push as much performance as it can to the game and not have to worry about other applications in the background. This is a super smart command to use as it will push as much performance and power to the game as possible to help give you the highest amount of frames you can get. Again, you guys can also use some of these. It's really personal preference for some of them. Things like Novid, which removes the in-game introduction movie, is very optional. It's not really going to do much in-game performance-wise, but it might be something you want if you don't want the game to take forever to load in. Again, using that command high is very important in my opinion. If you guys really want to get more detailed, you can choose the amount of cores and threads CSGO can utilize with your computer. CSGO is an interesting game considering that it actually does take a lot of CPU power and not just GPU power unlike most modern titles. So setting this, if you want to save some cores and threads for other processes running on your computer, this might be a smart thing to do. Again, this is going to be all personal preference depending on what you want exactly and how your computer runs. Now to actually put these into your game, you're going to want to come down here, click on Steam, Go to your library, right click on CSGO, hover over properties and click on it. It's going to open up this window and you're going to see there's going to be five tabs on the top. It should automatically start you off in general, but if it doesn't, go ahead and click on general and then come down here to set launch options. Click on this and it's going to open up this little box right here. And exactly what I was showing you guys before, you're basically going to go ahead and take these settings, copy and paste them into this box as you guys can see here. Just copy and paste them into here, one after the other. If you guys say, for example, wanna use high, you can just control C to copy that, come back down into your CSGO launch window option and paste it, and then literally just repeat for all of those other ones. You don't have to add spaces, you don't have to add anything out of the ordinary. You just copy and paste what you want to be in there, hit okay, and you're good to go. Now for this next setting we're going to look at, this setting is going to help optimize Windows to run as best as possible for your computer, meaning that all your processes, including CSGO, should run very, very smooth, but also boost its frame rate a little bit. Now for this, what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to come down to your file explorer if you have it on your bar like I do here, but find where your file explorer is and open up to the this PC page. 
From here, all you have to do is right click on a blank space, click on properties, and it's gonna open up this window. Now from this window, we wanna go to advanced system settings and it's gonna open up this window. Click on advanced up here at the top and go to settings. This is gonna open up yet again another window. And from here, all we need to do is click adjust for best performance. By adjusting this, it's basically gonna turn off a lot of the settings Windows would normally push to make your experience just a little bit nicer. As you guys can see, there's some really stupid ones in here like animations in the taskbar, stuff like that you really just don't need. But anyways, just select adjust for best performance, click apply, and then okay. For this next setting I'm gonna show you guys, this is gonna help a lot of you laptop users, and it's a very important setting to change. Back when I was playing on my laptop, it made a massive difference, so if you are playing on a Windows laptop, make sure you do this next step. So what you're gonna wanna do here is come down to your search icon and type in control panel. It should show up at the top after you type in only a few letters, and go ahead and click on this. Now what you want to do here is come up to the top search bar and type in power. This is going to bring up the option of power options. Go ahead and click on this. From here, you guys can see that it's going to show my power plans. I already have a custom one set for my PC, but if you are on a laptop, it should have a plan like balanced, high performance and power saver. If you're on balanced or power saver, I highly recommend switching to high performance. And if it doesn't show up, what you guys can always do is click on the change plan settings for your current plan. Now for me, again, I'm on a desktop, so I don't have the power options here, but besides the display and computer sleep settings, they should show up right underneath it. Again, set your battery performance to high performance. It's gonna use more energy, which again means you need to have your laptop plugged in at all times, but it's gonna help your computer just run a lot faster and it's gonna push as much power to your CPU CPU and GPU as possible. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click save changes and you're all done there. Now all of these select changes combined should help you guys get a lot more FPS out of CSGO. Possibly, you could be possibly looking at boosts anywhere from 20 FPS all the way up to 100. A lot of these changes all combined together could give your computer a lot more power to be able to push to CSGO. But anyway guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I hope I was able to help some of you guys out. Again, if you didn't watch the video all the way through, but for some reason you're seeing this, I highly recommend going back and watching it all the way through there's a lot of really really cool steps in here you're gonna want to see but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope i was able to help some of you guys out and if i did make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you're new and uh yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys all in the next video peace